If you were a dentist in the 1900s, you stuffed teeth in your walls. That is a deep stator. Are you part of it? Am I part of it? <laughs> and I have been blowing the whistle and shouting. Welcome back, guys, to more creepy TikToks. Smash that like button and subscribe button, and let's dive in. What the hell is going so on in, in Maryland? Maryland today? Showing houses, and in 20 years in the industry of going in houses of all types, I've never seen anything like this. Six foot gates, dead bolts, drawing on the wall in the back, so you know it wasn't a dog back there. Air conditioning. Are you serious? I reckon there probably were just cages for animals. I mean, if you were to spend the night there, for example, you could easily smash that window or jump over the gate. Now, if you're a smaller person, that'd be a lot more tricky. But that guy, he should have went in with a UV light, check to see if there's any liquids. But what do you guys think? Okay, so if you look at the holy icon, look at the eyelids of Jesus Christ. There we go. He just opened his eyes and now he's going to close them. There we go. He closed them. And there we go. He opened his eyes again and you can see the tears coming down from his eyes. I don't know if that's an optical illusion and maybe the image quality is so bad that it makes it look as though his eyes are permanently closed when they're not, but either way it's definitely trippy like. It's just as well her ma was there to warn the wee one. I mean, imagine what would have happened if she wasn't there. Look forward to a career of 50 years. And my own opinion, yeah. Maybe, maybe more you will get some injections and some, uh, and so on. And, um, um, and then don't forget your, your avatar will continue to live. So, uh, uh, and your your brain will be replicated see, through artificial intelligence and algorithm. Um, so we don't know, but at least 50 years. I think we can all agree that the last thing this world needs is the avatar and the brain of Klaus Schwab to live long after he's gone. I mean, you know, he's a dictator now. Just imagine what way he would be if it was just his avatar that was left. Yep, this is actually happening. And millions of dogs are being infected with deadly diseases that after just one lick is causing people to have multiple organ failures and all limbs amputated. People were terrified after one woman had a tiny paper cut on her hand. And after her dog licked it, she woke up the next morning with her hands and legs needing immediate amputation. And this could be happening to other dog owners. The doctor told the woman that if she did not get amputated, the virus would have spread through her entire body in a matter of just hours and eventually her heart. People thought this disease wasn't common, but were shocked that over a whopping 70% of dogs will have it and it will remain dormant in them. Doctors have started warning others against having dogs lick any wounds and avoid licks to any parts of the face, including eyes, nose, and mouth, as your life may end in just one day. With the CDC stating that if people have any sort of weakened immune system, this disease can happen to them, known as the Capnocytophaga bacteria. Although this woman's condition is rare, if a dog passes this on to you with other bacteria, it could be the end of your life. 
I don't know about you, but I honestly didn't know this was a thing until I checked the CDC site. But I mean, it's got to be a very extremely rare thing to occur, you know. Welcome to Georgia, where being liberal is a crime. And if you were a dentist in the 1900s, you stuffed teeth in your walls. Yeah. I don't know what that's about, but apparently three different former dentist offices have been found with thousands of human teeth just hidden in the wall cavities. Whatever. I live in Georgia and people are just putting teeth in their walls. I've always heard that the devil went down to Georgia to steal your soul, not to steal your teeth. These are some lyrics to one of the new Taylor Swift songs. So listen, I'm not trying to be judgmental, but here's what I'm trying to tell you. The devil is subtle, right? One minute you're singing a lighthearted song about breakups and you're emotionally connecting, and the next minute you're singing lyrics like this. Guilty as sin. What if the stone rolled away? They're going to crucify me anyway. What if the way you hold me is actually what's holy? If long-suffering propriety is what they want from me, they don't know how they've haunted me or how you've haunted me so stunningly. I choose you and me religiously. All of a sudden you're singing open blasphemy and you don't even realize it. You see, the money and the power and the fame always comes at a cost. I want to give you another example of a different song. This one you all know and it's going to blow your mind. I was a brand new Christian. I'm newly saved. And I'm at work one night now uh, working an overnight shift at a Home Depot in a lumber department. And this song comes on the overhead that we all know. You know, bye bye Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, you know. But then, just like this Taylor Swift song, as a new Christian, I realize I'm suddenly singing something blasphemous and evil. As the lyrics to that sweet song, American Pie, change, and it says, Oh, there were we all were in one place, a generation lost in space, with no time left to start again. So come on, Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick, Jack, flash on a candlestick, because fire is the devil's only friend. Oh, as I watch him on the stage, my hands were clenched in fists of rage. No angel born in hell could break that Satan's spell. As the flames climbed high into the night to light Light the sacrificial rite. I saw Satan laughing with delight the day the music died. He was singing Bye Bye Miss American Pie. Yeah, you see, that's the problem. He's subtle. He 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 promises these people fame and fortune in exchange. They do his work. And one minute you're singing Bye Bye Miss American Pie, and then you're singing praises to the devil without even realizing it. Or you're singing a song about breaking up with somebody, and then all of a sudden, here's all this blasphemy about what's holy and rolling the stone away and mocking the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Be careful, y'all. The devil's a trickster, man. He, he does, he, he's good at what he does. You know, for those of us who are Christian, we have to be very aware with what type of music that we listen to. I mean, even some Christian artists and Christian bands, you know, on the surface, they seem like, you know, God's children. But the truth is, is that some of them can be just as bad as Taylor Swift. Would you take a look at this building with me? Look at that. What does that look like to you? Right by the blue sphere. So, on top of the light, I'll accept that as the sensor of uh, day and night. But look at that antenna, bro. And then right here, if you come right down here with me, we got the meter, not this suspicious at all. Everything we talked about, guys, in those files. Look at this. Yep, we've seen the movies. Everything is coming together, guys. The internet of bodies is here. The majority of these street license 2020 are directly connected to 5G and I do think at some stage in the future there will be like a system in place where we'll have to stand directly under these street lights to see who got the sting and who didn't. And I do believe that those who didn't get the sting will be moved on to like a camp or like some form of a detention centre. There's people that will look at that and say that's a contrail, but the difference between a contrail and a chemtrail is a contrail dissipates after a few minutes, whereas a chemtrail spreads after a few minutes. What are your thoughts or comments on your predecessor when she uh, says she was undermined by, quotes the, the deep state? Yeah, I think that's probably a question for her rather than me. But I'm just keen, keen to hear your view, Prime Minister. Is, Sorry? is, there, is there a deep state? Or are you part of it? Am I part of it? <laughs> Yeah, probably a question for her. <laughs> not, not I probably just, wouldn't tell you if I was, well, would I? No, no, no. no and, and, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't and, I, <laughs> and we we wouldn't tell anyone else no, either. I wouldn't, would I wouldn't tell anybody else either, Sabrina, if I was. So, 
It's not just a case of perhaps a, a few chaps getting you know, overly excited after a good lunch, say, at the Garrick, is it? <laughs> That's a question for her. I like the fact that he doesn't reject or deny the idea of a deep state, and for someone who isn't part of the deep state, surely knows the rules about not speaking about it. <laughs> We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the sonar corolla what, uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. You can see the stars. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, and and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah. the stars. Yeah. I don't remember seeing any. That guy's laugh would send you into another dimension, but, you know, that guy stating that there was no stars, I mean, which is it? You know, who's telling the truth and who's lying here? So there's nobody in this room. The leads are against the wall. And that's what it's reading. If you were a doctor, that would be the last thing you'd want to see, you know, but truth be told, there's probably a lot of doctors and nurses out there who would have more than their first hour of stories to tell. But in this case, I would say that the equipment probably just needs to be replaced. What's the Havana syndrome? Geek out with me. The Havana Syndrome is a condition where career diplomats, intelligence officers, and others serving in U.S. missions abroad experienced strange and painful acoustic sensations. The condition got its name in 2016 after a group of diplomats and covert operatives in Havana all came down with similar symptoms. They'd hear some kind of noise or feel some kind of pressure, and then they would suffer from dizziness, nausea, and debilitating headaches that could last for years. Now, it's called the Havana Syndrome, but it didn't just happen there. In fact, around 1,000 cases of these incidents, which the U.S. government calls anomalous health incidents have been reported from U.S. missions around the world. And the U.S. government is still trying to nail down what this is and how it came about. I went ahead to look up more detail about the Havana syndrome and some of the symptoms here is hearing a loud high-pitched noise or buzzing, pressure in the head, ears or both, problems with cognition, dizziness and balanced issues, headaches, irritability, nausea, light and sound sensitivities. Like I don't know about you guys, but you know, I've been experiencing stuff like that over the past few years and I'm sure a lot of you have as well. I also checked out another article by the BBC who is pretty much blaming Russia, saying that it's Russia sending out um, sonic weaponry, so you know. This is Dragonfire, the UK's first laser weapon. Able to shoot down drones and missiles with incredible accuracy, it could revolutionize how we fight wars. And this isn't an idea decades away, we're building it right now to fit onto our warships in just three years time. Rapid delivery of this incredible feat of British innovation is only possible because the government has this week reformed the way we procure for our military. So we'll be faster in getting our weapons into the hands of our soldiers, sailors and aviators years ahead of schedule. And through these reforms, we'll build more lethal British armed forces to defend the United Kingdom from threats at home and abroad. Many of us knew that direct energy weapons existed, and this is evidence to confirm that for us. But just think of the power that they would hold in terms of them using that on countries or the people. Like, to hold that kind of tech, you know? The time Elvis Presley freaked out on a cult, the Church of Scientology. They're a bunch of goddamn freaks. 
There's nothing more shocking than to find out that the Presley family is quite embroiled in the church. While Priscilla Presley has been with the church for nearly 50 years, it seems Elvis Presley had a very different reaction to the church's ideals. In fact, the one time he was convinced to go to Scientology, he left the church screaming and yelling. It was said he actually had quite the panic attack about the things he was being told inside of the place. Elvis would yell, F all of those people. There's no way I'll ever get involved with that cult. While Priscilla kept her support of the church on the down low for the past few decades, it's said that she started going as soon as 1977, days after Elvis passed away. Elvis was a very religious Christian man, so it really does make sense why he freaked out when he went there. But it truly does make you wonder, did Elvis know something we don't? There's very bad people. Look, someone wrote help on the window, <laughs> and the sign tall scrub scrubbed it out. Look, yeah, I don't see. they were trying to get out. It's so sad. Somebody said that they saw scrubbing happening. This that that's oh, they could like, be see, see the pee? Can you just say help? See? Yeah. This is the guy from running by. It says help and the Scientology tried to like scrub it out. The Presleys left Scientology in 2014, apparently due to growing discontent with the organization since 2008. But you know, Scientology itself, the, the whole cult just needs to be removed and burnt down to a crisp. You don't want to be using Bluetooth because Bluetooth has been shown to cause the can't swear word. It causes inflammation, brain fog, depression, it slows down cellular regeneration. What you want to do is get a cheap or an easy pair of headphones that you can actually just clip on uh, into your phone and connect to your ears. Uh, you usually don't have to spend more than 8 or $9. The Skull Candy actually is a pretty good uh, quality and it actually sounds good too. So. Uh, these are the easiest ones to get, but you want to stay away from Bluetooth, anything that's 20 or 30 plus dollars. Um, even these cheap Bluetooths, they're all going to be garbage for your health, and they cause cellular degeneration. So these cheaper options oftentimes are going to be the better options when it comes to the music that you listen to on a daily basis. It's all well and good to buy yourself some cabled headphones, but the problem here is that the majority of phones we use nowadays doesn't support jack plugs, so we're all kind of forced to use, you know, Bluetooth earphones. So we're all kind of screwed there. Like, witnessing right now the first generation of mutated humans. Okay, we're in the timeline right now where we are seeing the first generation of mutated human DNA where it's going to be leading to that timeline of humans devolving and mutating into becoming the greys, okay? A lot of us think greys are aliens, but they're not really aliens. The, the grey is an offshoot of what has happened in this collective right now as a result of this experimental gene therapy that's being imposed on the collective consciousness. And you, you're seeing right now the first generation of the mutation is happening um, amongst the, the human collective. Over time, as this mutation continue, continues, the human body, the human DNA is, con is going to continue to, to evolve. This is the reason why now the greys look the way they do is because it's a mutation of the original human DNA and them devolving. And they have selectively, you know, exchanged certain DNA in preference of other DNA. So the greys prefer to be more intellectual, more logical. This is the reason why they have massive heads and they're very intellectual and they're, they have very strong psychic and mental capabilities, T telepathy, psychic abilities, everything re re relating to the mind. But when it comes to their heart and empathy, their race has turned off that heart shutter. They have deactivated all feelings, all compassion, all love, because they view that as being a hindrance to their race. So we see a race where it's very imbalanced in the heart and in the mind. So as a result of being very imbalanced in these two energy, you have what you have right now with the grace. So now we're witnessing the birth of the first generation of mutated humans with, they, are, they already have these completely black guys, no longer looking like human, very abnormal, very strange. Uh, we don't know what's gonna be happening to them in terms of their mental, intelligence and the emotional intelligence but 
Now you see with your own eyes. We know from the Bible that fallen angels mix with daughters of men and what type of children they had. So it is possible it could happen in our lifetime. You know, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. But in this particular clip, you know, would you say that's, you know, cap or, or real? One day I was going through that computer system, which if you want to look it up, it's called an Air Force Form 3952. It is the approval of ha hazardous material. I was finding tons and tons of large quantities of aluminum, barium, strontium in the forms of oxides and sulfates. I also conducted soil sampling because I thought, you know, if, if this is real and they are spraying this, it's going to get to the ground. So. I conducted air sampling, I conducted soil sampling, and I was getting high levels of these contaminants. When I started asking the question again under a new commander, I never in my life thought I would have somebody look me in the face and tell me, I am questioning you. Is there something wrong with you? You've been looking really depressed lately. You know I can put you under a mental evaluation for a, up to 120 days. Who would take care of your daughter? Because I was divorced at the time. As soon as I heard that, I knew. It validated everything I ever thought. And I thought, I've spent nine years of my life trying to protect human health. And here we are, violating law after law after law. Just sitting here, instead of protecting the people, we are poisoning the people. And I've never got up so much courage from that fear of being thrown in a cage. Because when you're in the military, folks, you're a number. And every aspect of your life is controlled. I ran and did not look back. And I have been blowing the whistle and shouting ever since. Clips like this is why they want TikTok banned. And we have to realize that if her commander did say that to her, it just validates how rotten to the core not only the military is, but the whole government. And we also have to remember as well, this originates from the White House and way beyond that. Get your death. There it is. There's the tendrils, buddy. Where'd your dad go? I was trying to have him come look. Because this cloud lifted. That's, that's unbelievable. Look at that. Go get your dad. There it is. There's the tendrils. Where'd your dad go? This could be real, but I call cap on it because there's no one who has a camera that works on like two FPS. Make sense of all this. You ever bought a home with a fucking hole? I advise go in it. No fucking way, Jimmy. Oh my god, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? Come out here. So this guy promised a part two in a few days, but that was like three weeks ago. And um, this is the only video he's ever uploaded onto his TikTok. So you can kind of speculate if you want there. But, you know, in terms of the tunnel itself, it could be anything. But if it's an old house, there was a time where, you know, drinking and gambling would have happened underground. So it's possible it could be that, you know, or not, or not. There's not much context regarding this, but people have stated that she was going to expose a lot of celebrities, particularly um, Ellen DeGeneres, but I don't know how true those claims are. If you enjoyed these choice of topics, you can click here to explore more topics. But that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the compilation, smash that like button, subscribe button, and until the next video, look after yourselves, stay safe and stay healthy, and I'll see you then.